Yo, what's going on guys? So this just got announced. We have a new boss monster for the plant archetype. It actually is a pretty cool card. So anyways, let's go ahead and hop into this new card. So the name of the card is the Bengalances of the Sam Sarek Cycle. It is a light plant link effect with it being a link four with 2500 attack and the link zones are in the top left, right, and the bottom. And it does require you to have two plus plant monsters. And it says that you can only use either of this card's name first or second effect per turn and only once that turn. So for the first effect during the main phase as a quick effect, you get to target one effect monster your opponent controls and you take damage equal to that monster's attack. And if you do, return that monster to the hand. The second part of the effect is if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish two or more link monsters from your graveyard whose combined link rating equals four and special summon this card from your graveyard, but banish it if it leaves the field. So uh, at the end of the day, this is definitely a really good boss monster for the Sunvine uh, archetype. If you guys haven't seen them, I don't think they were the most popular. Uh, I did drop a video on it. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down below. But in terms of the archetype and what it does, it's all about really utilizing a vanilla uh, engine and basically getting out a lot of these smaller cards. So to get that second part of the effect where you're banishing, that's actually really easy. In fact, you can use that effect in um, you know any use because it's just link monsters. It doesn't have to require you to have plant link monsters, which is great. And then on top of that, it doesn't require Sun Avalon or Sun Vine, which is pretty much what I think this is supposed to support uh, as this archetype definitely is going to get lots of link monsters for stepping stones. But Looking at it, I don't think it's going to take the deck from where it stands right now, even with an additional boss monster, which, again, it helps out the deck, definitely. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't think it is what the deck needs. The deck has a real struggle dealing with boards that are already established, just like most Yu-Gi-Oh decks. When people establish boards with too many negates, the deck just falls short because it doesn't have something where, like, this card is immune to something. Yeah, you might be able to bring that card back, but you might not even get to that stepping stage of making that monster because your opponent will just disrupt you because... It's heavily based around using the Auro Mage Link Monster, and on top of that, you're going to also use Lone Fire for a lot of your uh, combos. And if your opponent just has literally an Apollos and you just don't Kaiju it, and it's not like you're going to run Kaijus in this archetype, I don't think that this card is going to be uh, making the deck an S tier deck at the moment, but maybe we'll get even more plant support uh, in the future to make it even better. But if you guys want to see how the deck plays already uh, without this card, because you could do some pretty cool things, like you can get an insane amount of attack, uh, you know, stat. But just large, like, 4K beaters at the end of the day is not going to be what it takes to win a majority of Yu-Gi-Oh! games. But at least we're getting another boss monster that technically other plant decks can use as well. Hopefully we'll see a return of plants in the future in Lightning Overdrive. But anyways, that's going to go ahead and cover the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed checking out the new Yu-Gi-Oh! card. If there's some OP combo with it, let me know. I mean, I was reading that. I'm like, it's really easy to get all these Link monsters in the graveyard. I, I think that even if it didn't have this effect, it still would not be like S tier deck, but it would actually make it so much better if it didn't actually banish itself. That way you can just, you know, use it as material, and then you go back right into uh, bringing out another Link 4. Uh, that would make the, arc, the the whole archetype so much better. I honestly feel like that's what it needed. Or it needed to be able to say it as a quick effect, the targeting, it also makes it so your opponent can't like respond to the effect because again, at the end of the day, when you're going with second, you're probably not gonna even get to that step. But even if you do, um, your opponent can maybe uh, activate something in response to this. It would need to also negate the monster's effect. There's technically, I know there's a trap card for the archetype that does do that, but um, most people only play one and you have to like basically open up, pop off, use that card and the following turn you OTK them. That's generally how it works, but that's the new uh, plant boss monster. Let me know your guys' thoughts on it down below, but if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you want to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the future and you're new here, hit subscribe, turn on the bell, and you'll definitely see more as soon as it comes out. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. And I'm out. Peace.